Allegheny County is in trouble. 218 new coronavirus cases today. There were 232 cases combined in Pennsylvania's other 66 counties. And Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf is singling out Allegheny County. And Lisa, it's not a position anyone here wants to be in. Uh, no, David, not at all. And right now at 5, Channel 11's Aaron Martin leads our team coverage with a closer look at, at these troubling numbers. Over the holiday weekend, we saw a small decline in the number of confirmed coronavirus cases, but that came to an abrupt end today when the county announced more than 200 cases, the second highest total since this pandemic began. Possibly even more concerning is that all of the cases statewide, nearly 50% of them started right here. And it's something that we've seen continue to develop, particularly over the last month, where this spike has become much more pronounced. When Allegheny County entered the green phase on June 5th, there were more than 1,900 coronavirus cases. On June 28th, when the county health department ended on-site alcohol sales to help curb the spread, there were around 2,500 cases. But in the eight days since, the number of cases has spiked to more than 3,700, including the 218 cases announced today. We're gonna see bumps like this, and I can't predict whether it's going to be two or three weeks. It'll probably die down a bit and then something else will happen. And we just have to be prepared for that reality for the next several months at least. And as we've seen more confirmed cases, there's also been a far greater demand for testing. That's causing significant issues for healthcare systems like Allegheny Health Network, which are dealing with a bit of a bottleneck at this point. New at 611 Investigates takes a look at the issues around testing and why it's taking longer for you to get results. Reporting tonight from the north side, Aaron Martin, Channel 11 News.